The spunk is Friday, day we gon' talk about. If you don't know how to date, date, it's gon' take you out. Yeah, yeah. It's found in Jesus. You know what day it is. Focus fr fr Friday. What's good, my people? You know what day it is? Focus Friday. Topic is dating. Now, the Bible doesn't give specific information or convey about dating, but it does give our principles about how to deal with people. We're gonna check out Genesis chapter 24. So Abraham gives his servant a mission, and there was to go and find his son Isaac, a wife. Verse 10, it says, Then he loaded 10 of Abraham's camels with all kinds of expensive gifts from his master. And he traveled to distant Arab Naharam. There he went to the town where Abraham's brother, Nehor, had settled. He made the camels kneel, Beside a well, just outside the town, it was evening, and the women were coming out to draw water. Oh Lord, God of my master, Abraham, he prayed, please give me success today and show unfailing love to my master, Abraham. It's amazing how the servant is praying for the wife of someone else. And this leads to my first point about being wise and dating. You must have counsel and accountability. You need somebody that knows about your dating relationships. Proverbs 12, 15 says, the way of food seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. You need someone in your life that has dating experience, preferably someone who's already married. I've got counsel in my life and they tell me the good things that they did in dating and the dumb stuff that they did. Verse 14 says, this is my request. I will ask one of them, Please give me a drink from your jug. If she says yes, have a drink, and I will water your camels too. Let her be the one you have selected as Isaac's wife. This is how I will know that you have shown unfailing love to my master. The wife that he was praying for and seeking affirmation about, she had a quality of servanthood. Let's check out verses 17 through 19. It says, they're running over to her. The servant said, please give me a little drink of water from your jug. Yes, my Lord, she answered, have a drink. And she quickly lowered her jug from her shoulder and gave him a drink. It did say that she slowly lowered her jug. She wasn't like, oh, I ain't. You a thirsty little boy, ain't you? I ain't just thirsty. And this leads to my next point. Dating is not for selfish people. If you're approaching dating with the mindset of what can I get or how can this person make me feel good, then dating is it for you. Philippians 2 verses 3 through 4 says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. When I first began a date years ago, I tried to impress my date by not being myself. And the one thing that I tried to do to <laughs> impress my date was ball out. I used to spend money on the chick that I ain't even have. I haven't even bought groceries yet, and I'm buying this girl steak. I wanted to take girls to nice restaurants that I would never go to. I used to order food that I didn't even like. I couldn't even pronounce. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, may I get the, um, uh, um, uh, floss swallow J chicken? Oh, uh, oh, uh, it's some, it's some water, please. Thank you. I feel a guy looking at me like, boy, chill. You know you love wings, extra fries, and sweet tea. And your date does too. Chill out. I realized the girls would rather have a date that's cheap and creative than one that's expensive and boring. Ladies, am I right? Comment below. You see, you impress people by not trying to impress people. You impress people by simply being yourself. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. I love that. When you date somebody, Think of ways to add value to that person. What are some goals and interests they may have? You might know somebody who knows somebody. Your cousin's baby mama's uncle's stepdaughter's friend might have a horse ranch. She might say, you know, John, I just love me some horses. I just love horses, John. They make me feel happy. They give me peace. Well, you know, Betsy, see, <laughs> you 
it's your lucky night, girl. Obviously, my cousin's baby mama, uncle, stepdaughter's friend has a horse ranch. You know what? I'm gonna give her a call. Oh, John, you would do that for me? That's why many relationships fail because people are all about themselves. All they do is take and complain about how they're not happy. Child, please. The reason you ain't happy is because all you do is take. You never give. You never serve. Stop acting like a La Swalla J chicken. You ain't that important. Verse 16 says, Becca was very beautiful and old enough to be married, but she was still a virgin. Rebecca was mature enough for marriage. You should date with the intentions of marriage. You shouldn't date just to date. It's high school stuff. The high schoolers are known to be not wise, but immature. We have to be good stewards of what the Lord has given us. And a few things that he's given us and blessed us with is time and money. And if you're dating just to date without an end goal in mind or a purpose, you're wasting time and money. Verse 21 says, the servant watched her in silence, wondering whether or not the Lord had given him success in his mission. He watched in silence and was wondering. He was displaying patience. Um, and that's the main thing in dating, is to be patient. Pursue that person patiently, seek the Lord, be watchful, stay prayed up. Let's be healthy in our dating. It's folks Friday. Your cousin's baby mama your cousin's baby mama, uncle, stepdaughter. Your cousin's uncle. Your cousin's uncle. Your cousin's baby mama. Your cousin's uncles. Your cousin's baby mama's uncle, stepdaughter's friend. I'm gonna have a horse ranch.